Hi, everyone. Where are my golden agers out there? Come on in, come on in, come on in. It is your girl, Gail, here. I have for you a 10-minute senior sculpt class. It is simple and sinister. Simple, not because it's easy, but because the moves are, there's not a lot of moves, okay? Sinister because they are intense moves. So everything is slow and controlled, all right? We are using our core, we're using our breath, and we're keeping it nice and strong. Simple, sinister, strong, all that good stuff. All right, before we begin, okay, just giving you a little bit of information of what you need. You have your board, okay? You have your booties. If you want, you can have a towel and a water bottle close by. Let's start with a warm up. So we're just gonna march it out, all right? Just little marches, just kind of getting the blood flowing, moving around. Good, you can add the arms. Make sure you're breathing. How are we feeling today, right? Notice how even if you're feeling sluggish and tired, the moment you start moving, even something as simple as this march, right, it kind of gets you fired up. So get fired up because we are going to have some fun. All right, let's find the breath. So breathe in, cross at the wrist, exhale it out. Good. Breathe in, cross at the wrist, exhale it out. Again, breathe in, cross at the wrist, exhale it out. One more, really filling up those lungs, front sides, back, and exhale it out. Nice. From here, let's take a little tap jack, right? So maybe just add the legs, okay? I'm getting ahead of myself. Just add the legs, maybe tap it out to the side. And if that feels good, right, then you add the arms. If you have anything going on with the shoulders today, I get it, then maybe just bring the arms out here. I'll take this. Good. All right. Or I'll just take it right by your sides, right? Whatever works. Good. Breathe. Let's go four more seconds here. And three. And two. And a one from here. Taking it side, 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 side. Tapping it to the side. Now from here, lift the heel to the booty. Good. Breathe. Let's add the upper body, or you can stay right here. This is fine too. Pull the elbows back. Good. Squeeze it back. Let's go four more seconds here. Three and two and one. Little air squats. Legs are hip width apart. From here, you're going to slowly lower. Three, two, one, and up. Take your time. Three, two, one. Chin lifted, chest lifted. If we're not sure what we're doing here, okay, I know you have a couch next to you. I know you have a chair next to you, one or the other. Maybe take that chair, all right? And then slowly, maybe tap the booty on the chair, come back up. Yeah? It's a nice little marker. It's a nice little guide. Everything's fired up. And then last one, hold it at the bottom. Stay. Maybe stay right here. If it feels okay, reach the arms overhead. Hold it here for four. Breathing three. Breathing two. Breathing one. Nicely done. Shake everything out. How's that heart rate? Okay. Let's... Have a seat on our couch, on our chair. Let's take our booties and place them on. Place them on. So you're going to take the leg, cross the ankle over the thigh. Open up. And then gently and securely place that booty on your foot. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Take as much time as you need. Make sure it's nice and secure. Make sure you feel good. All right. Let's war. Keep, on, keep up our warm-up on the board. So you're going to step onto the board. Good. All right. From here, let's take a couple of tall slides. So hands at the waist. Lift one foot up. Slide over to the other side. Feet together. Good. And let's do that again. Now take your time here, right? Finding stability. Finding strength. Knees are soft. Abs are pulled in. Yeah. If it feels good... Maybe you pick up the pace a little bit, but it's not a fast pace. This is a little jog, kind of like our marches. And here we go. Let's breathe. Just like four more and three more. Good. Two more. And then one more. Let's take it over to the side. Hold it there. Pause. All right. You're going to take your right foot. You're going to step it to the outside of the board. Now, your toes are hugging into the board. No duck feet, so we're not turning out, okay? We're not in a ballet class here. Toes are hugging up into the board, all right? So that way, it's a nice way to kind of hold your balance as well, and it keeps the toes, shoulders, hips facing forward. All perfect alignment. From here, shoulders out of the ears. You can keep the hands at the waist. Actually, do this, because we're going to hinge. So you're going to take your hands, place them on the hip crease. Push your hips back as you slide your left leg out to the side. Pretend like you're zippering up into your tightest pair of pants to come up. Good. Push your hips back. Inhale. 
Exhale, stand up nice and tall. Good. So you can keep your hands at the hip crease because sometimes people are like, well, what is a hinge, right? So if you're kind of just bending, you'll, you won't feel that crease of your hand. That you'll, you won't feel the pressure of your hand on that hip crease. That's exactly what you want to feel. So make sure you feel that. Good. Let's go maybe one more. And then bring that foot in, okay, the inside foot in. Hold it here. We're going to hand to that hip crease. And then you're going to circle the leg out to the side. Circle it out to the side. Circle it out to the side. Now, what's going on with those toes, right? Press into those big toes. Find your balance. Notice how this toe is going to want to kind of veer out to the side. We're not turning out. Keep that toe facing forward. Let's go four more seconds here. Three more seconds. Ooh, hello, glutes. Two more seconds. One more Squeeze into that, hug up into that sideboard there. Breathe. Whew. All right. Slowly, carefully turn to the side. So now this heel is hugging up, okay, into the side here, all right? And then you're going to lift that left heel. Hands at that hip crease. Push your hips back, all right? So you're kind of sticking that booty out. And then from here, keep the hands at the hip crease or hands at the waist. And then you're going to slide the leg back and then pull it in. Nice and slow and controlled. I'm trembling already. Are you? Good. Now you can control this. All right. So if this is too much, come up a little bit higher. Just a slight micro bend in that knee. A little bit more sensation. If it feels okay, maybe you go a little bit deeper. Whoo, mama. Good. Let's go two more seconds. Slowly bring it in. Let's go one more second. Bring it in, stand up tall, take a little breather. All right, hands at the waist now, broaden the chest, eyes are forward. From here, you're gonna slide the leg back, take your time. It doesn't have to be a deep lunge here. And then slowly bring it back in, squeezing the glutes at the top. Take your time, slow and controlled. We're working on balance, leg strength, postural muscles. You've got a lot going on here. Working into muscle endurance as well. Good, let's maybe go one more, then you're gonna hold it there. Good, challenging that muscle endurance. Hold it there, stay. Keep a bend in the knee. If this is too much, come up a little bit higher. Hold it here for eight, seven. You got this, six. Go for that tremble, five, four. Wake up those muscles, three, two, one. Slowly slide it in. Good, slowly come off the board. Shake it off, shake it off. Nice job, crew. All right, we gotta do everything on the other side because I cannot leave you lopsided. That would be horrible of me. All right, so feet hugging up against the bumper. What's going on with those toes? Make sure they're turning in. They're turned in. They're hugging, hugging, right? Not turned out. Broad in the chest, hinge in the hips, hands, hands at the hip crease. Push those hips back as you slide the leg out to the side and then slowly bring it back in. Good. Keep those hands at that hip crease. Maybe you add a little running hand. Sometimes that helps. If it doesn't come naturally, leave it out. Good. Bring it out to the side and bring it in. So notice, right, if you take a quick peek, make sure you're not looking all the way down, just a quick peek. The shoulders, the hips, and the knees are facing straight ahead. Yeah, that's finding alignment here. Good. Working into that glute. Let's go one more. Good. Stay here. Stay low. Just slide this in foot, inside foot in. Lift the heel, and then you're going to take little circles out to the side. Circle. Good. Circle it out. Circle it out. Good. Again, that toe is going to want to turn out. Make sure it's facing forward. Breathe. Let's go four more seconds here. Three. Hello, booty. Two. And one. Slowly come up. All right. Here's the change. Change, literally. Move change, directional change. So turn towards the side. Glue that heel up against the bumper. Now add the other foot. Find your stability here. So it may take you a while, right? Find it. Good. Now hands at that hip crease. Push the hips back, hinging forward slightly so we're not rounding, right? So you don't want to feel the low back. This is what you want to feel. And if it's burning, good. You're doing the right thing. Okay, from here, slide the leg back and then bring it in. Slide the leg back, bring it in. You are always in control of this. So it might feel hard per se, right? Because you've got some stability here. You're working on balance, all right? Things are trembling, because we're working on muscle endurance, holding this anchor leg position while we're slowly controlling this front leg, but you've got this. Good, let's go one more. Good, and come all the way up, reset. Hands at the waist, broad in the chest. Pull your abs in from here. Slide the leg back as you bend both knees. Take your time, it doesn't have to be a deep bend in the knees, and slowly come up. Good, slowly bring it down. 
Yeah, pretend a string is pulling you up through the crown of the head. Stand up tall. This glute should be on fire. This is good, right? If you're feeling that glute burn, that's exactly what you want to feel. A lot of us suffer from gluteal amnesia, right? We do not want that. Doesn't matter how old we are, how young we are. We want to stay strong. This is how we will live life a little bit healthier, pain-free, and hopefully, God willing, longer. All right, you got maybe one more. Hold it here, stay. Breathe. Hold it here. No moving, just breathe. Good. You breathing? Seven, six, five, four, tremble, three, tremble, tremble, two, one. Slide it in. Whoo! And then gently come off. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. How was that? I told you, simple, sinister, but you're strong. All right, from here, just march it out, okay? Maybe march it out. If you like, hop back up on that board. Do a couple of tall slides. Yeah. All right, let's come back with those hamstring curls. Kind of get into those hips. Good. And then take it back to center. Good. Shake the hips back and forth. Little dance if you like. Whoo. All right. Nicely done. Sweep the arms up. Breathe in. Cross at the wrist. Exhale it out. Good. One more. Breathe in. Stand up tall. Reach the hands towards the heavens. Cross at the wrist. Exhale it out. Bring your hands to heart center. Whew. Thank you so much. I will see you again. My name is Gail. Take care, everyone. Bye.